Hello and welcome to the next iPad tutorial. I think this is tutorial 4 because tutorial 3 had a whole bunch of parts. But in this tutorial, I want to show you one of the apps that we use a lot for writing. It's fantastic. So if you're doing research, actually, I'm going to go to, let's go to the 6th grade Moodle. So you're um, researching by using one of the websites on our Moodle. And you want to take notes on it so you don't forget and you don't feel like writing in your notebook. Let's find a lovely, lovely pollution page. Let's see. Real life concerns about water. That's good stuff. And we're going to go to... Uh, okay, yeah, this is good. Um, so this is mostly about oceans, but let's say you wanted to write down some of the types of pollution that you find in the ocean. So they say 14 billion pounds of garbage are dumped into the world's ocean each year. What if you wanted to quote that as you were writing your notes? The app you need to find, which I have with all my writing apps, is called Office Squared HD. So let's say on your iPad, Kids messed it up. You don't know where it is. Go over here, start typing office, and it'll pop right up. Go to office squared. Now here's the deal. Everybody who uses this, never delete what you find on here. This is people's work, and they do not want to have to start over. It really, if you don't want to start over, being forced to start over is one of the worst things that could happen. So you want to start a new one. Kick on, oops. Click on the plus. Now, some students create a folder for themselves, and that's kind of cool too. So let's make a folder for me. I'm going to call it Gonzalez. And we'll remind each other, stay out of other people's folders. For goodness sake, you signed an informed consent agreement saying you would do that. I'm going to go into my folder, tap plus, and look, you can create a document, you can create a spreadsheet, or you can create a presentation, kind of like a PowerPoint slideshow. Kind of cool, huh? So what am I going to name it? Po Lu Xiong. Oh, not return. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. There. Now I can start typing. But I wanted to copy and quote that one line I found. So I'm going to double tap here. Go back here. I love this switching stuff. Now the way you copy and paste stuff is just like I did in the last tutorial um, up here. If you highlight a word and this goes up on it, you can move this and copy. Now remember, don't copy more than a sentence here and there. Don't copy the whole thing. That's, that's plagiarism. But I'm just going to copy that one. That's the only one I want. Double tap. Go back here. And then I'm going to I have to open the quotes because it's not my words. And I'm going to paste. Close quotes. Oops. There we go. Close quotes. Now I do want to know where did I get this from because I might forget later. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to copy the um, URL of the website. Select all, copy, go back here, and I'm going to put that in parentheses. Paste, close parentheses. Now I know where I got it from so when I make a bibliography I just have to go there to get the information. Plus, easy bib, if you paste that in there, it'll turn that link into a bibliography for you. I know, it's fantastic. So now I've got a quote, and I can start, so I can go back and forth, read a little, type a little, read a little, type a little. Pesticides and fertilizers um, lower reproduction rates on fish. So I can write pesticides from farms can uh, lower fish reproduction. So I'm putting it in my own words. I'm summarizing it. I'm not copying it word for word um, rates. I put my notes here, and then later on, I can type that into a, a easier to read paragraph form story. Then I can copy it all. I mean, if you copy all of this, 
sometimes it takes a few tries to get it over a word, select all, copy, I can paste that into my blog and I've got myself a blog all done. Now one thing you should do often is save. Save every few changes you make so that you don't lose anything. But look what you can do here. If you were just going to make a document and not a blog, you can go here and create, uh, change the text, change the font size. You can do bold or italics. These things here, you can change colors. You can make your title a different color. Um, you can use a highlight color if you want to highlight certain words. Like let's say I want to highlight, um, I'm going to select the word reproduction, make it purple. There you go, just to highlight that. I could center a title, so if I want to add a title on this. Water. Oops. Polu. Shion. Not shio. Shion. And then center it. See, I got that centered. I can then, you know, make it look like a title. Select. Select the whole thing. Make it bigger. There you go. Boom. Hey, why didn't that work? Oh, I forgot. That. <laughs> when you choose this, you have to hit apply. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Now, watch this. This is really cool. If you go here and you slide it, look what you can do here. I can add a picture to my document. I know. It's cool. Use. Booyah. I got a picture on there now. And there's other things here. I think there's a check spelling. There's an undo. Oh, beautiful. You made a mistake. You undo, undo, go back to the way you had it and you liked it. And then um, this last one here that's pretty cool is you can indent stuff if you want to indent. It's kind of neat. You can put a bulleted list or a number list. So this program, I got to tell you, it is the best one we have got on these iPads for creating a document and then if you want to send this document to me you can email it to me because remember we've got mail and I mean I've got all your email accounts here so you email me something I'll have it on your email and on my email ha so you can send me documents we don't have to print we don't have to waste paper we're gonna go paperless ladies and gentlemen that is the program that you want to use and that concludes tutorial number